All right, one thing that always confuses me, um, yeah, they have this removable insert on drill press tables, whether you buy one or make one or whatever, and they do get chewed up over time, but you're looking at about five years right there, and I'm in my shop pretty much every day. Just thought I'd share this. It looks like I, I drilled with the Forstner bit, right, down there. No, that's actually the plug. You can hear when the Forstner bit cuts that last little piece you know you're not sitting there and bogging this thing down and just trying to make holes if you want you can see it just barely nicked it right it's right there <laughs> it was just dust anyways tip within a tip i gotta come up with these in the same spot every time eh, i lost my fence for my drill press table so clamped on a square who the hell loses their fence to a drill i'm gonna try and get this in here without it shutting off so these are just gonna get cut together and this will be a little handle for a little box so that little plug it ends up in the middle many times. Hell, you could use that for a little veneer piece if you want. You know, you get into the pizza cutter wheel business. Anyways, now jigsaw, scroll saw, fret saw to connect those. I'll have little handles for the side of my box. But yeah, I, your drill press tables do you good. Treat them nicely. Why are you chewing on them? All right, well, if I can do it twice, then I can do it thrice. Sorry for not the best lighting. Maybe I'll try and get my, my drill press corner different, but you can just barely see that that spur that sprue in the middle is pointing through that's kind of when you know i don't know if you got a mark and then kind of just know where your handle position is or put a piece of tape i don't know but i just do it by kind of eye and feel and you can kind of hear it break loose hopefully here let me see if i can capture that did you hear it i heard it that one, it fell out because I stayed down a little bit longer to see if you could hear. And so it chewed it up. It wasn't as much of a friction fit, but you can do this all day, every day. Obviously, if you're in production uh, and you're going through a bunch of these. You could hear that one pop. It kind of oil canned in the hole. See? And by the way, clean on both sides. Uh, obviously, if this was chewed up a little bit more, I'd want to support it a little bit more as it's coming through. This one is, you know, probably do, but I mean, that's five years. It's probably hundreds and hundreds of holes, if not more. Yeah, hopefully that helps you guys out. Uh, you know, it's some food for thought. I mean, do you want to spend time making maintenance products for your shop or spend a little bit of time, you know, trying not to get it all gargled up in the first place but you know i was just going to post this to instagram so let me know if you guys like these little tip videos or whatever the shorter stuff uh, i figured this way i could put the videos together uh if you are on instagram go ahead and check me out if you're interested i post different stuff in the shop and and if you're new to my channel take a peek at some of these other videos and you know have a look around let me know what you think all right take care